हेलो फ्रेंड एज योर एडी इज नॉट एज योर आफ्टर डेथ इट इज एज योर एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी एंड वेदर यू ऑलरेडी नो एज योर एडी और नॉट डजेंट मैटर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ एज योर एडी हेल्प्स इन सिक्योरिंग योर एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम हैकर्स एंड स्कैमर्स अगेन आई विल यूज वेरी क्लियर एंड सिंपल डायग्राम लाइक दिस विद स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच सो डैट लेटर confidently you can explain this concept to anyone especially to your interviewer and then you can crack the interview and because it is very much popular question in for as your interview so what are you waiting for let's start what is as your active directory how is it different from on prem ad now you are going to master this answer let's understand with the help of an example suppose your company is using as your cloud and there two application hosted inside it by your company one is the email application which manages the emails of all the employees and another one is payroll application which manages payment salary of all the employees now you are the developer and architect for managing this as your setup for your company okay now there are three users trying to access these applications first user is a user a is a regular employee of your company every employee okay then second user is your company hr only the hr and the third user who is trying to access is the outside person he is the external person user c okay now as the azure developer you will take the help of azure directory oh sorry azure active directory azure ad to decide who can access which application so when the request will come from all these three users the email application the first application only user a and b will be able to access okay but the outside user will be blocked because he is not allowed to check the emails he is not the company employee okay so that will be done by active directory to decide to authorize to authenticate okay now for the second application the payroll application only user b the uh, company hr will be allowed and will be able to access the payroll because only hr can manage the payroll and nobody else even not user a not journal employee will not be the to be able to access the uh, payroll application so that is the story that is the work of azure ad to decide which employee can access and what are the rights of that employee how many applications they access so these con basically authentication and authorization concept azure active directory directory apply on the azure now if you are new to authentication and authorization i will explain this in upcoming question and if you already know then that's great so before that here is the simple definition azure active directory is microsoft cloud based identity okay and access management service that helps organization manage user authentication and secure access to cloud application okay so basically it's a identity uh, what is my identity i am the use uh, uh, employee of the company so i will be allowed by azure active directory someone is not employee so he will not be allowed okay identity so that is azure active directory if this concept is clear to you write crystal clear in the comments or chat and this definition will help in uh, will uh, in the book will help you in the revision later quick update before the next question i cracked azure interview after facing many rejections from that experience i created this complete azure interview course this course include five things number 5 200 interview questions all topics step by step even if you are an azure beginner fourth real scenario based questions just like in real interviews third you can check your interview preparation status by marking questions prepared or not prepared second is this pdf book for quick revision and first is as your top 10 mock interviews many student cracked interviews using my courses you can be the next course and book links are given in the description if you are interested great if not no worries let's continue with the next question
वट आर ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड ऑथोराइजेशन लेट्स क्लियर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन जस्ट टू मिनट्स सपोज यू आर ए स्टूडेंट इन ए स्कूल नाउ यू ओपन द वेबसाइट ऑफ योर स्कूल एंड देयर वेबसाइट इज आस्किंग यू टू लॉग इन फर्स्ट इफ यू आर ए स्टूडेंट देन योर स्कूल मस्ट हैव प्रोवाइडेड यू दिस यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड राइट नाउ बाय एंट्रिंग दीज क्रेडेंशियल्स हेयर यू आर बेसिकली वेरीफाइंग योर आइडेंटिटी विद द स्कूल that yes you are a member you are a student of this school then only this website will allow you to enter into the website right this concept of identity verification is called authentication which basically ask you who are you member or not of a school okay yes or no is the answer here now you are saying okay i am happy and this is my password once you enter this press sign in then school will check will their database find that you are the student of the school now authentication is yes answer is yes for you you will be able to sign in right now if you are not able to sign in then you will be wrong in valid credential but if you are able to sign in after that you will visit this page and now authorization will happen so listen carefully once you log in inside the website then you have the student role inside the website what do you mean by student role because in the school there are many other departments like teachers administration clerical and sports teacher different departments right now suppose your school website has this four or five menus or functionalities so as a student you are authorized only for few of them for example as a student you are able to view the result yes you can view the result but as a student you cannot edit the result if a teacher will log in then he they will be able to edit the result but not you then you are not also able to see the salary because you do not have any salary as a student if a teacher will log in then they will be able to salary now if fees yes this you have to pay so that's uh, but your teacher don't have to uh, pay the fees so maybe they will not be able to see this fees but you will be able to see this fees so these are roles and rights so basically based on your role student role you are able to see few things you are able to do few things and your teachers are able to do some other things so that is authorization that few what rights you have okay what that is the whole idea of authorization okay and i hope you got it so remember authentication will always uh, so the authorization is your rights and access now remember authentication will always happens before authorization okay clear all right i think these concepts are clear to you for your lifetime now here is the definition of authentication authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user by validating their credentials such as username password and the definition of authorization is the process of allowing authenticated user access to the resources okay and authentication always precedes to authorization everything written in the book so that later you can easily revise all right now if you understand as your ad then there is one more very important related and concept that is as your key vault for interviews that i have explained like this with visuals in my complete as your interview course with simple definition many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews so if you are also serious about cracking your next as your interview and do not want to miss a single question then check out this course link and the pdf book link in the description below